If this is your last child at cross, would you please stand up? If you have no more, would you please stand up? If this is the, if this is the final one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will certainly miss you. Uh, a couple, I didn't mention your names because a couple years ago I made a list of names and I actually mentioned somebody that still had kids in cross and I, <laughs> I felt a little strange and bad for that. So. But then as we think about um, parents and people who have done things, occasionally God provides individuals who go over and above that call of duty, whose contributions and influence will leave a lasting impression or even a legacy on our school. So while I know this is eighth grade graduation, I thought this would be a good time to acknowledge one certain individual. I'm going to take my teacher hat off for a moment, and I'm going to put on my athletic director hat and try to get through this. I remember back in 1991, Pastor Truog, anybody know Pastor Truog? Pastor Truog was in his office, which, by the way, is not, none of this, these buildings were here. It was over there. And he said to me, he said, uh, there's a, a new couple here from Nebraska. I think you and Pam should, should get to know. And I thought, Nebraska? Are they corn farmers? What, what's going on? You know, that Nebraska thing. Little did I know at that time the impact that Doc Shute would have on our school. And I know Doc wants absolutely nothing to do with this, but we're going to do it anyways. Sometimes you just have to tolerate other people acknowledging your blessing. So, Doc, would you please come forward? He's not leaving, so this is kind of like a little awkward and sad at the same time. Doc Shute, uh, personally, we've gone through a lot together, the birthing of our children in Lama's classes and some stories we won't get into there. We played a lot of open gym back down in that little small gym when we'd get 30 or 40 guys packed in there. That was before both of us started limping. But Doc has been coaching for cross for at least 15 years. I don't know, my memory is, is not I, from, from the time CJ was in fifth grade. Sometimes he coached two, three, and even four basketball teams at a time, not always coaching even when his kids were on the team. Doc has been instrumental in the success of our track program, and while he wasn't always the head coach, he always laid the groundwork for practices, and many of the banners we have in our gym are a testimony of his expertise. Uh, How many of us have not gone to him with sprained ankles, strained muscles, dislocated fingers, bad backs, and the etc.? Raise raise your hand if you've actually gone to Doc Shoot for a bad back. Yeah, you can see there. And not, Doc did not coach for the accolades and certainly not for the money. (laughs) Doc has always coached with integrity and honesty, knowing that the lessons taught through the sport far outweigh putting wins in the book or setting records. I cannot tell you the number of coaches, athletic directors, parents from other teams, as well as officials that have told me they love the attitude that Doc exhibits. And while we know that the shoots are not leaving or retiring, Doc probably won't be quite as involved as he's been since Jaden is in eighth grade. So we have a couple things we just want to thank you for. Um, I want to say the other day, just before our class trip, I passed Doc in the hallway as I was leaving church. He was coming to church, and I said, Doc, you ready for the class trip? And he said, yeah, I could sure use a vacation, a break, because at this track season, I believe he coached Newark and Yorkville Christian High School, in addition to being a significant part of our track team here. So um, what we did is, I've got a few things I'd like to give you. We're just going to make this as awkward as possible. 
Uh, we have, first of all, um, we put out kind of a letter for families and took up a, a donation. And we have a gift certificate or two for some well-needed vacations there. Just know that you have to listen to a 90-minute presentation. <laughs> for the letter. In addition to that, we have in this lovely bag, uh, Diana Richards, we have a, a bunch of letters of thank yous, of memories from past athletes that Doc has worked with and coached. And then finally, Mr. Fisher, we are, we are going to put up, and Doc may not let me do this right now, but maybe in a couple years when he gets old and senile, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to put this plaque somewhere outside the gym that reads, this plaque is dedicated with sincere appreciation to Dr. Jeff Shute for his past and continued devotion to the athletic programs at Cross Lutheran School. And we also have a smaller one so he can put it up in his office. <laughs> That's it. You can go. When Doc walked into the service tonight, I said he has no idea what's going to happen to him. <laughs> <laughs>